Hi, and welcome to BMobile Month Calendar video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use BMobile Month Calendar component in your Windows Mobile project. So, let's get started. I'm going to create a new Windows Mobile project here. I'm going to name it Calendar Demo. And I'm going to choose Windows Mobile 6 Professional SDK. If you installed BMobile iPack to your computer, you will be able to see all the components in the toolbox. The month calendar control is used to prompt the user to choose a date. So the application we're going to create will have one text box on the form and if the user clicks the text box we will display the month calendar to prompt the user to choose a date and we will then feed the chosen date into that text box. So the first thing I'm going to add to the form is a round text box here. I'm going to make it a little wider and also a T label and I'm going to type the text select date into it. The great thing about B-Mobile controls is how they can cooperate together so to make our application more appealing I'm going to put a b an image into the background of this form, but we're not going to use the standard form, but rather a BMobile T form. BMobile T form is implemented in bmobile.transparentcontrols.cf3 reference. So I'm going to view the code for this form, import BMobile transparent controls namespace, and now I can change this statement which says that our form 1 here inherits from T form. Now if I save this and go back to Visual Studio Designer and explore the properties of this form there is this background image property here which allows me to put a background image on the form. So I have some images prepared here we're gonna use this one and the great thing about having the ability to use a background image is that you can for example uh, create your own theme of an application or put a, your company logo into the background which makes it look appealing. I'm going to set a couple of properties for these for this T label. First of all I want a white for color and I want the text to be centered vertically and I also want some to put some margin between the text and the edge of the component which I can achieve using this margin left right property so let's put a value of 6 here and also the the back color opacity is not right uh, I like to be I like the back color to be more transparent so that is why I'm gonna put the value of 90 here okay the round text box here uh, can contain a so-called hint text which gives the user a hint what should be typed in it but uh, we don't want him to type any text there we rather want him to type the date into it but of course uh, as soon as, as the round text box receives input focus we want to display the month calendar and let and let the user choose the date from the month calendar so for that uh, I'm gonna add month calendar to our form and the the bigger I make the calendar the bigger will be the squares representing the individual days and the more comfortable will will it be for the user to choose a date that is why I'm going to set the doc property of this month calendar to fill so that it fills the entire form of course this um, blocks blocks the vision of all the other controls that are on the form that's why we're gonna start uh, making the month calendar invisible so I'm gonna set visible property to false the next thing I can set for the month calendar is highlight Sundays which when set to true then all the Sundays will be highlighted and I can also highlight other holidays throughout the year by assigning the dates of the holidays into this holidays property. So let's say we have a holiday 
on September the 7th and also on September the 28th. So these two days will now be highlighted along with the sun with Sundays. Now what we want to do as soon as the user clicks round text box and round text box receive it receives its input focus we want to handle that situation so I'm going to display the events for round text box and the cut focus is right here and what we want to do is display the month calendar of course bring it to front um, make it visible and this is not all uh, if we left the application just like this then as soon as the application starts the round text box would automatically receive input focus and that is not what we want I'm going to focus on the T label or give the focus to T label and let's try to run the application now so this is how it looks like as you can see, the round text box displays our hint text. Now, if I didn't focus on the T label, then round text box would have received the focus automatically, and that would cause the gut focus handle, uh, the gut focus event to be raised, and the month calendar would pop up immediately. So now, if I click the the round text box, month calendar pops up, and I can now choose a date. So. By clicking any any day that I wish, I can choose a, a date. And if I if I click and and drag, or if I if I scroll over the over the the month calendar client area, it will navigate me to the next or to the previous month. I can also use the arrow the arrows up here to to navigate to the next and to the previous month. Okay, so. That's great, but uh, I would I would have expected that month calendar would hide itself after I click a date, and that the date would be fed uh, subsequently to the round text box. So let's stop the debug session now and handle the date clicked event for month calendar. So as soon as the date is clicked, we want it to be fed into the text property of round text box. So I'm going to convert this to string using this format. And we also want the month calendar to become invisible again. And we also want the T label to get the focus. OK, let's try to run it now. So now it's time to test our application. If I click the round text box, month calendar is displayed. And I can now choose a date, for example, September the 21st and that date is automatically fed to the text box. The last thing I'm going to show you about month calendar is its ability to display appointments. So let's say we have appointments and we want month calendar to display these appointments because it would help the user to decide which day to choose. To do this, let's go into the code and let's add this method to our code. Before we can use this appointment class, we have to use bmobile month calendar namespace. We have to import it. And we are going to call this method just after initialize component. So what this method does is that it creates a new appointment, it sets its start time and end time, and then it adds this appointment into month calendar's appointments collection. Two separate appointments are created and edit to month calendar. So let's try to run the application now. If we display the month calendar now, the appointments are displayed within the rectangles which represent the individual days. The first appointment was planned for tomorrow. It starts at 12 p.m. and ends at 2 p.m. That is why this little stripe here demonstrates this. Its beginning is exactly in the center of this rectangle and ends a little bit later, a little bit below the center, which represents 2 p.m. The other appointment starts after tomorrow, 
by the end of the day and ends on September the 29th at the end of the day as well. So much for the month calendar control. Thank you very much for watching.